Hello, my name is Penny and this is Penny's Art Emporium. And today I am just having a complete mess around with my paints. I've got this old canvas that I haven't really taken to and haven't really known what to do with it. So I've decided that as it's a mess around, I'm just going to go over the top of that one. Um, with my last video, number 97, I put splodges of paint on um, and then put a plastic bag over and smudged it all around to make a background. And this is the imprint of that particular painting and that is the plastic that came off of it. So what I thought I would do today is have a bit of an experiment. I guess because when I looked at this, I did it in the shape of the bouquet, but I thought I could perhaps make a kind of a landscapey, very abstract painting in the same kind of way. I like abstract painting. I really love it. But when I do it with a brush, I just can't help myself but add detail <laughs> and of course it's meant to be more random so by doing the fluid art I'm hoping that that really stops me from just adding lots of detail so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some colours at the top which will be whites and blues very sky like cloud like colours and then in the middle I'm going to do a horizon line which will be horizontal and the top will be horizontal and then from there at the bottom I thought a little bit like I have done with this one I thought I could do my lines vertically and I could add some greens and then do some splodges in nice flowery colours and then I thought for the whole lot, I would then put some plastic over the top, smear out the top section to be more horizontal and the bottom section to be more vertical and splodge those colours up into the others. And I just thought it would be a good experiment and we'll see if that looks like a kind of abstract kind of painting when it's finished. So we will see. It uh, doesn't matter too much because it's an old canvas and if it comes out really well, I can always do a much bigger one on a nice shiny new canvas. So I will get started. Um, I'll probably put it on hyperlapse because putting the colours on won't be very exciting for you to watch, but you can see it on hyperlapse. And then I'll perhaps do the reveal of taking the plastic off in real time and we'll see what we end up with. Okay, so I will get started.
colours on. I've spun it around that way so that you can see it actually because it doesn't matter which way around it is to me at this point. So I have got my plastic and I'm going to put my plastic over the top. I don't know whether to spin it round first. <laughs> uh, I'll spin it round because I want the plastic to go upwards rather than downwards, if that makes sense. And there. And so from there, I want to just move paint at the top so that it goes horizontally so the lines would go horizontally and all sort of blend together right down to this horizon line which I will spread out a little bit And then from there, this bottom half, let's get some air bubbles out a little bit. This bottom half, I wanted to just press down and those bits, I'm happy for those to go more vertically. So it'll just be interesting to see what happens. Of course, there is the other painting underneath it. So um, some of the paint might just slide off the canvas completely without really sticking to it. I don't know. I didn't do anything special to my old canvas. I just used it as it was. It might have even been varnished. But as it was an experiment, it didn't matter really. Right. So that has pressed down all those colours into each other. So we'll see what happens. I will spin it round so you can see as I lift this plastic off. I'll take the two corners. Yeah, so that looks very interesting. I'll get my torch. Bubbles settle and pop. Yeah, I don't know what I think of it. I mean, it has done what I wanted in that you've got all the flower colours on the bottom half and the sky colours on the top half. And it's definitely very abstract. So I'll let that settle and I'll bring you down for a close-up and we can see what we think. So here is this painting. It has had time to settle and I'm really happy with this. 
compared to the painting that was underneath that I wasn't very keen on, I do really like this. I love it as a concept. This particular painting, all the paints did not have any silicone in, but the painting that was underneath, although it was varnished, I think it was varnished, um, did have silicone in. So I think that has really helped to bring out some interesting little features. I don't think there would have been quite so many little cells if it hadn't got the silicone underneath. But I really like it. I really like it a lot. I really like the fact that it definitely has different areas um, that kind of sky area. It's not particularly horizontal, it's a little bit, but not particularly. Um, it does all come from that centre really, which is the last place that the plastic touched the painting. And I love those colours for the bottom half, the flowery section. And you can definitely see the line in the middle. Of course, you know, like I say, the middle part is the bit where the plastic touched it last. So that is why there's that indentation. And maybe I see I need to work on some kind of other way of lifting the plastic off. But all in all, I'm really happy with it. Um, I have tidied up all my edges here. Um, and the edges look really nice. I've made sure that the edges cover the old painting that is here all the way round and the colours are really beautiful. I love that gold that's in the sky and the Payne's grey and the emerald green, I think you just needed those just to have some darkness to it to break it up. So I'm going to let that dry and I will show you that when it's dry because all of that sky area, those are all metallic paints. So I think that is going to look lovely. There's not so many metallic paints in the flowery section underneath. So it'll be interesting to see what that looks like. And I will show you the piece of plastic that came off of it. So. I'll let that dry as well. I don't know what I'll do with that yet. That's certainly not nearly as pretty as the actual painting. So there, I hope you enjoyed watching that. It is a big experiment, but I really like it. So I'll let you see that when it's dry. Bye for now. So here is little Django who has come to join us today with looking at this little dried painting. It is 30 centimetres square. And as an experiment, I think it's worked really well. I like the fact that you have got very definite areas and it reminds me of a kind of impressionist abstract painting. And by leaving it completely alone and not fiddling with it, I haven't been tempted to add more detail. <laughs> so as an experiment, I think it's worked out really well. I'd like to develop it a little bit further and try a few more. Maybe get the horizon line just to be a little bit straighter. And you could have like a little green path, uh, like a grass path wandering through to the center. And then you could have kind of, it would look like trees on either side. But the colors I really like, very happy with those colors. And I think for a painting, it is very different. I will put some nice gloss varnish on this because I think it will really bring those colours out again and make it look like it did when it was wet. And you can see those metallics in the sky a little bit there, the gold and the turquoise. And that emerald green is actually metallic as well. So it's really interesting. I know it's a really unusual little painting, but that's the whole point. I really want to challenge myself to do some really unusual and different things. 
and I know that not everybody will kind of get <laughs> what I'm trying to do but you know it's fun to experiment and when you have a little mess around with things with paint and different techniques it's just fun so I hope you enjoyed watching I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.